Right now, Tesla is one of the most successful car manufacturers in the United States. They own more than 70% of the U.S. market. Unfortunately, sitting U.S. President Joe Biden doesn't think Tesla deserves to be a company gobbling the entire U.S. market share and always undermines Musk Tesla's contributions. And Elon Musk, as you know, hasn't kept his mouth shut and taken the discrimination sitting down. He recently exposed Biden's corruption. So what's this beef between President Biden and Musk, the world's richest man all about? Sit back and watch as we take an in-depth look at the drama. There's a cold war brewing between Musk and President Joe Biden. At a recent summit for electric vehicles, Biden failed to, or rather deliberately didn't, invite Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, to the event. Elon wasn't happy one bit and made his disappointment known. While Tesla has been knocking on the door of President Biden, he hasn't budged from his position against the electric automaker. President Biden recently came up with a deal where he proposed that EV tax credits will be distributed to union factories unequally. Tesla is not part of these union factories at all. One may easily argue that there is no need for a company the size of Tesla that doesn't need the government to help them in its operations. However, such an exclusion looks pretty irregular. Yet Biden is making these decisions arbitrarily, and the transparency behind these decisions is also questionable. Joe Biden does not at all recognize the contribution that Elon Musk has made to electric vehicles. Considering Elon is someone who doesn't shy away from confrontation at all and in his time on Twitter, Elon has gone after anyone who has not recognized his efforts or become an obstacle in his path. Now, when Tesla wasn't invited to the EV summit in August last year, Musk soon went to Twitter and posted a tweet stating that he found it odd that Tesla was not invited. Biden also credited Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, who has been instrumental in the evolution of electric vehicles, as the first ever woman who has become the CEO of a big three automaker. This is an exclusive group consisting of General Motors, Ford and Chrysler, whose hegemony is being put to the test by the Elon Musk empire. He referenced a Zoom meeting that he claimed that included significant business leaders and many labor union representatives. They discussed electric vehicles, yet why Elon Musk was not invited was very questionable and baffling. It wasn't long before Musk sprung into action. He explained that unions here at play are pulling the strings of the presidents. According to him, Biden's administration will act in line with the wishes of unions that influence their decisions. Hence, he has to praise the companies like General Motors and Ford and credit them with helping the revolution in the automobile industry with EVs. He called the Biden administration not one of the friendliest of administrations. It is no secret that any political leader in the U.S. has to bow down to the demands of lobbyists and unions. This is because they are used to impacting political leaders by offering funding for elections and other mass campaigns made to the mass public. These companies, such as General Motors and Ford, have been using lobbyists for a long time to help create favorable decision-making from the political administration in the country. Union for Auto Workers, known as UAW in short, is one of the biggest automobile workers unions in the country and a favorite of the government. They charge 1.44% of their members' salary as a membership fee. It makes for a significant contribution from their members to help the growth of the union. Recently, a federal investigation has turned up where 12 UAW officials, including four former union presidents and three Fiat Chrysler employees, have pleaded guilty to various charges. In one of his tweets, Elon Musk claimed that his company has no issues with voting into the union any day. However, in the same breath, he tweeted that they require union dues and deny stock options for pointless reasons. He claimed that Tesla was better than when the plant became UAW and everybody in the plant already had health care. The union, despite everything, still controls the government because of their membership. Biden has also backed a form of tax on individuals earning billions on their unrealized investment gains. This means that those capital gains on stocks have not been sold to the general public. The rise in their value helps the billionaires earn more due to the growth in the company. It has been dubbed the billionaire tax. However, Elon Musk has been publicly speaking against this form of tax even proposed that he would sell 10% of his stock in response. Biden has also gone on to say that General Motors caused the electric vehicles revolution single-handedly, when it was actually part of the legacy car manufacturers who were ever reluctant to enter the market until Tesla took off. Tesla released its first model, the original Roadster in 2010, to the latest in 2017, Model S Plaid. It's almost as if in Biden's world, Musk has never existed. 
or else he has probably confused Elon Musk's contribution for that of General Motors CEO Mary Barra. He explains at the summit that GM has been the face of electric motors and that Barra was responsible for electrifying the whole automobile industry. He also recalls how she has promised him that GM will be 100% electrified by the end of 2035. So what are your thoughts on this? Is this the reason why GM is receiving preferential treatment over Tesla? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.